in 1844 for $1,500. The house stays in the Lincoln family until 1887 when the oldest and surviving son, Robert, deeds this to the state of Illinois for a dollar and a legal agreement. He happened to also be an attorney. There are two conditions. The house must be maintained and no one is to charge to go through this house, hence your free entrance into this particular national park because when we took over from the state of Illinois in 1970, we of course honored that agreement. Now, the and then nobody knew what the color was. The state had painted this light yellow in 1962, but in 1987-88, we had a 13 month restoration of the home. A brick was found inside Mary Lincoln's bedroom wall next to the chimney with this color paint. It had to be Quaker brown because that was a part of the house that did not exist until 1856. You see it now. Get in this. Yeah. And it works very much like a Viewmaster. If you know the Viewmaster, where you put a picture card inside uh, and see it in behind you as you go through the house. Be careful where you're backing up or leaning or anything because this is all Lincoln area material. We're in the formal parlor area of Lincoln's home, front and back parlors, nicest rooms in the house. And to be honest, these rooms weren't used all that often when the Lincolns were here. In fact, sometimes it's kind of hard, you know, if you get a custom of eight graders to play in the formal parlor. I don't know anybody that has one of them. Very specialized family rooms for the fancy rooms, brother. For meetings, parties, and visitors. May 19, 1860, we have 47 special visitors that day. Republican nominating committee is here from Chicago after the convention, and they're in these rooms to officially tell Lincoln he's the Republican candidate for president. Now, the delegation's here in the front parlor, and Lincoln's just over here inside the back parlor near this window, leaning on the top of the chair when they come in. Suppose it could be that chair right there because all of the black upholstered furniture in both of these rooms was here that day. These are all original Lincoln pieces covered in more than horse hair. Now we're going to be going over the informal side of the house. I want to point out these sketches. They are in the three large rooms on the floor. These are from 1860, Leslie's Illustrated. And the Park Service used these during the restoration of the house. And what these mean to you is, because we have these sketches and we're able to restore the rooms to their 1860 appearance, you're looking at rooms the way Lincoln saw. So. Guys, go ahead and take a walk through our dining room. Mary's table and chairs are there. Go down into the sitting room. And I'm going to take the shortcut and go to the sitting room myself. What is <laughs> Fireplace reading or playing with Willie and Dad and Jim Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Over here on the right door, Mary sits next to that sewing table right here. Those are the original pieces. Yeah. Came along, Lincoln could not do that. It was December 20th, 1860, a little over a month after Lincoln's election as president, and the day Lincoln found out the first state, South Carolina, had seceded from the Union. You know, folks, I think that night, no matter how hard Lincoln tries to concentrate his family, most likely the only thing really on his mind is South Carolina. Now, we're going to go up and see the bedrooms. Here's how this is going to work. I need all of you to use the railing for safety, and this railing is the only thing in Springfield, Illinois, all of you get to touch that Lincoln touched and not get in trouble for doing so. Might want to get a little mileage out of that. Guys, when you get up to the landing, turn left. Where they have their parties. And this is...
We have about 70 to 80 square feet of the original storage. It's found under some of the wallpaper. I'm going to tell you right now, though, that beard is the shaky part of the description I just gave you. This is Abraham Lincoln shaving here at the height of a 6'4 man. Lincoln was clean shaven until almost 52 years of age during his first beard a few weeks before leaving Springfield. For Washington, the beard is a presidential feature. Abraham Lincoln is the first U.S. president to have a beard in office. Mr. Century standards, and least that this will make sense. I, I understand. It's true. <laughs> Folks, Willie and Tad Lincoln shared this room the last year and a half the family lived here. Oh. Wait, what's this room? Trunk room. Uh, they don't have clothing closets, so it's a storage room for out of season clothing. Oh, the floor. Yeah, yeah I mean, this, it, we know we go wall to wall carpeting in the rest of the house like they had. So this yeah. is the, and we know it's red because when they did the restoration of the house under the baseboard, they found some of the original red paint. paint so huh. they weren't afraid to use some color. It's just we mm -hmm. we ever see black and white <laughs> images, you know. So and that's unusual because she came from a rich family, had a very good formal education, and didn't start learning to cook until she's 22 years old huh. after Mary Lincoln. Now, this is the original stove in front of you Mary cooked on from June of 1860 until the family left the house. Frankly, this kitchen's about the size of the cabin Lincoln was born in and spent the beginning of his life. So here's Lincoln. Starts out life in a space like this, doesn't have a formal education like his wife. Self-taught and still manages eventually to work his way up to becoming president. Indeed, an amazing achievement. <laughs> Go ahead.
Just press this button, see what's happened. See that? 